This is Ling Chi brush painting for beginners. The spring is coming and um, we've done a lot of red flower. We thought that uh, we should do some blue and purple. And um, um, so pansy is in our mind. And this was done ahead of time. And uh, we will talk about that. Uh, what I use as far as material-wise. Um, I'm uh, using the paper is unsized shen paper. We call um, um, double pull a single sheet. What it, that means is the usually the double shen is two pieces of paper tied together. And then the single shine is they pull it once. But this particular paper is that they pull it once, but with a thicker um, pulp. And uh, so it's incised. And that's what I'm using. And I'm using the our 12 color companion set. Do you think about the COVID almost over? A lot of people are traveling. This is a very convenient uh, 12 color, very budget conscious. Um, color palette for you to use. So just to clarify, you, you're, the paper that you're using is a thick pulled single Schwen. Um, and those papers are referred to by, by, by OAS as double Schwen with the letter A, right? That's correct. So we have whenever, whenever people see double Schwen A, or we also have another vintage double Schwen AO, Anytime there's the word double Schwen with the letter A, it means that really the paper is a thick pulled single, which paints a little bit like a double, but is not actually two sheets glued together. That's correct. Okay. That's a good explanation. And, um, and then the brush I'm going to use is that I have a happy dot flow. And this one is uh, my full lotus and you can also use your uh, large flow or super flow. So two combination brush, one small size, one large size, and a hard brush, happy done. And then I need to get a mixing plate. I'll be right back. So I use the green in the palette, and then I use a little bit ochre to soften it because the palette green is not as pretty. And then I do a um, little stroke. And then I rinse the tip off. And then I use yellow and tip with vermilion and then blend a little bit more vermilion blend. Okay, so then I do the center of the flower. So it's two stroke. And then I switch to my uh, flow brush. So I uh, load, first load uh, indigo and then purple. And then I use the carmine. Now it's already messed up if you can't see it. So, so this is the center. Smaller, large. Try to widen up a little bit. And then I'm going to use my large combination brush. This one I'm using is um, Full Lotus. You definitely can use large flow, super flow. And I load very lightly. So this is outside paddle with indigo, a little bit purple, and blend.
Okay. Now I'm back to my flow brush for the side petal. Indigo, purple, carmine. And then I switch to my large combination brush, full lotus or large flow or super flow. Lighter color for the outside paddle. So I'm doing. the darker color in the center. Then I'll add a little stroke here to close the gap. And then even lighter color on the top of the petal. So this is my full um, pansy. And then I'm going to use a darker color, which is indigo, purple, and red. And then they are going on the side stroke. So this is the back of the the back side of another flower. So I'm doing. And then a little bit red, carmine, indigo, and purple blend. Indigo, purple, and carmine. So I'm doing. Okay, so then on this, I'm doing a flower bud on lower part. And then the center, I dip a little bit carmine to make it darker. Okay. So then I'm back in with my happy dot brush. Again, green with a little bit ochre to soften the green up. Green, a little bit ochre, soften it. Okay. So this will connect. Neck. So this, I'm coming down with this.
So this is today's composition.